Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at uh, adding terrain. And I'm only going to cover a small part of it uh, in this video, um, but essentially I am going to, on my own time, uh, fill this whole room and draw out a nice pathway. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna cover everything that I'm going to do in this video, and then you guys can you know go do it yourselves and create something cool, and I will create something eh, somewhat somewhat basic, or maybe I don't know maybe we'll do it all you know let's just do it all together. Forget everything I said, just, just forget it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit browse because we need a new texture, and we're gonna type blend, and any of these will work. These are all uh, blended textures, which means you can swap between two, and some actually show you what you can swap between. Um, I don't really have any personal preference. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Nature forward slash blend docks grass pavement. Okay. That's pavement, really? Really? Uh, I was looking for something a little, uh, let's blend beach leaves. Urban dirt. Urban dirt cheap. I don't know what makes it cheap, but okay. Uh, hmm. I was kind of, you know what, I'll just stick with this one. It's pavement, it's fine, it doesn't matter. All right, so go back to our brush selection here. And now what we're going to do is, how are we going to do this? Oh, I know, the perfect way to do it. We're going to do it right in front of the door. Uh, so again, make sure that, I'm going to make this pretty square, by the way. I'm going to do everything in 512 by 512 increments as well. Um... Hello there. Okay. So now we're 512 by 512 and it's 16 tall. Just make sure it's, you know, it's, it's up on the, uh, the, uh, the, the floor, obviously. Of course we, we could remove the floor and take it out, but we're not going to, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that floor up under. It doesn't take much to draw it. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit enter and we're gonna place it. Now, as you can see, it's not really the, the greatest of floors at the moment. But that's okay. So let's open up our texture tool here and then select the brush here. Actually, no, I'm gonna select the brush and then open it. And then click this placement and then click create. And we can set the power to whatever we want. Uh, I'm actually gonna set this to two. And as you can see, it changed it. And we can adjust the power at any time and just hit apply. Well, you know what? Three seems good. Four is a bit overkill. Um, but you know, you guys can set this to whatever you want to. Um, so to change the texture, like the, the look of this, because you know this is the pavement right now, uh, just paint alpha, and then you can select this tool and you can increase the size of it, how much it paints, and so on. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just, no, it's not brush number three. There we go. Much bigger brush. There we go. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just going to paint this back to being grass, because that's what I want it to be. Uh, another thing you could have done is you could have just inverted the alpha. It's totally valid. And so let's get to creating. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to paint geometry. And we can just select the raise and lower tool. And if you left click and move, as you can see, it just kind of drags it across, which is nice, but uh, it's, it's a little, uh, and you know, you can change the distance and make it even worse. Uh, I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. Whoops. Open that back up. That's a little slow. Let's set that to 0 0.5. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. And you can hold shift, and then you can manually move stuff up and down. Um, I am actually going to do that, like, right, kind of right here. Okay. So basically holding shift, as you can notice, is just lets us move it with the mouse. And now that we have our own walkway there, now I'm just going to go back to, you know, just make it something kind of strange. It really doesn't matter. Um, increase the radius a little bit here. I do like how increasing the radius does not affect anything. Put the radius back to 15. Okay, well, for some reason that broke it. I'm not really sure why. Let me go back to the displacement tool here. Change geometry. Ah, distance. Yeah, distance being set to that would 
Ah, that's what happened. Okay, 0 0.5. There we go. I did not notice that. So as you can see, it's a little blocky. Um, so one thing we can do is we can smoothen it out a little bit. Uh, for those of you that have played Left 4 Dead, probably already know that the terrain in Left 4 Dead is actually kind of atrocious. Um, and wow, this this looks really bad. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is let's just duplicate this. So we're just going to control C or control D and oops, sorry, control C and control V. And we're just going to duplicate it. And then we're going to raise the terrain so it's back up and you can see it over here. Now, as you can see, the sides don't necessarily match as you can see right there. Um, so what we're going to do is just with our select tool here, just control and select both of them and then displacement. And we're going to zoom in so we can witness this. It might have already done. Nope, didn't do it. Okay, good. And then we're just going to click the sew button. And as you can see, it did its best to match everything. Uh, sometimes it can't. So, you know, you can just hop in here. And you can just raise and lower some stuff. And then you can just hit sew. There you go. Now everything's good. And sometimes it just needs a little help in hand. And uh, as you can see... Since we have both of them selected, we can just paint right across as, you know, as we want. And we can make like, a, we just make like a little path here. Let me just increase this. Eh, you know, three might be enough. So we can make like, you know, just a little path here. That did not go like it was supposed to. That's not painting. Why is that not painting? I have I have no earthly idea. I mean, I can totally invert the alpha, but it's not letting me paint. This is the uh, this is the the worst part that I personally don't like about um, source is is when this happens, and I have no idea why it happens. I just know that it happens, and it's really really frustrating. Um, That works just fine. What about painting alpha? No, that still just does not work. Okay, I, I have no earthly idea. Um, I'm going to go and figure that out uh, next uh, video. Also, here you can select adjacent. You can subdivide, which, you know, don't do that. Um, you can increase the power, as mentioned before. You can toggle the grid. Ironically, checking it disables the grid. Um, still can't paint the alpha. Very strange. Uh, let me go. Let me invert the alpha. Value. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, weirdly enough, for some bizarro reason, uh, this is actually... Uh... So I need I need to hang on. Did it break again? It broke again. Oh, of course it did. Let me select both of them. Select the texture group. And paint alpha. And I want the grid just to make sure that I am actually selected here. Okay. Just select that one. Paint alpha. There we go. Okay. So can't do them all at once. Um, okay, so I'm just going to select that value there, and I'm just going to select it at 2. And then I'm just going to go like right along the edges here, and as you can see, I went off, so it got locked. And I'm just going to create a nice little pathway over to this side. And right-click here to remove. I'm just going to select 1 here. Should should let me. There we go. Okay. Now we have that little pathway. I'm gonna open up the tool here. I'm gonna select the new one, paint alpha, and I'm just gonna continue onwards with my lovely little path here. And you can adjust the value if you need to. I'm actually gonna turn off the grid because it's a little annoying. Paint with the grid. Now we're just going to paint ourselves something kind of nice here. 
You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just, you know. There you go. Okay. Um, so that actually includes this video. Uh, you've learned how to paint and texture and make to write. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to build out an area in here, and I recommend you do the same. Uh, I don't know how big it will be because, you know, I don't want to take too much time, and I really, really want to get moving on to the next tutorial. So what I might do is is I'll just have, like, a terrain area right here in the middle uh, with some water running all the way across. Um, but you guys, you know, you have more time than me. Well, actually, I have all the time in the world. But, you know, I want to get the series done and out. So I'm not going to spend too much time, but you guys should definitely spend a lot of time, you know, beautifying and perfecting terrain and making it really, really beautiful, which, as you know, you can totally do inside of the Source Engine. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, also, don't forget that uh, you can support me on Patreon. Link to it is found below. And don't forget that you can, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, to post them down in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one.